Hi everyone, welcome to part 2 video of TACAX plus server configuration. In part 1 we have seen the basic configuration of TACAX server and Cisco IOS device and how to authenticate user using TACAX server and we have even checked how to give enable password from local user or from the TACAX server. So in this video we will be seeing the different privilege levels for the user when we give privilege level 0 how the permission for the user what are the permissions device will be giving for the user by default and for individual permission levels we will see and then we will check with commands we will give the particular set of commands for user and see whether user will be able to execute only that command what will happen if they give other command than what we defined so let's start the configuration for this i won't be using the previously created user i'll be using another user t2 so i'll copy this configuration I'll paste it I'll change the values here I'll call the group as netadmin2 password as p2 name I'll add it to initially we will give the privilege level 0 then we will give 1 in the end we will give 15 and try all these 3 combination yeah configuration looks good and we don't need enable password here i will be removing enable for further testing save the config restart the service I will go to R1 console and configure it for authorization first we need to remove the enable command no authentication so no triple A authentication enable default group yeah default now we will enable the accounting for this the commanders sorry um, authorization for this the commanders triple a authorization exit default group tagx then local then for all the privilege level we'll give the command triple a authorization command 0 to 15 so we'll give first 0 default group tagx plus local and give 1 then 15 we'll verify the config these are three commands i gave for authorization 
okay i think from my previous config the accounting came we can remove that we'll be adding it later or oh, even if it is there there should not be an issue so we'll keep it in this way now we'll be seeing only authorization in this video in the last video we'll be seeing accounting now we'll try to authenticate the user using username t2 yeah you can see the privilege here privilege is 0 for t2 Yeah, privilege level is zero if i give question mark here privilege level zero user will be able to execute only these five commands other than this user will not be able to execute any command that means my privilege zero account is working now we'll try giving privilege one there in the tacax server so i'll go to tacax server edit the value to 1 now restart the server log into the server but now if i give question mark i have this much privilege to execute and go to r1 and see now which privilege i am getting privilege level became 1 now we will give 15 here restart the server I log into the server again clear that screen so that i'll get proper login give the password t2 yeah directly it came to the privilege mode because my privilege level became 15 and i can execute any command here i don't have any restriction because i have privilege 15 here now we'll see how the custom commands or any any particular command if you want to allow for individual user how to do that so for that go to the tag x server now we will copy user t2's configuration and we will create another user Paste the config. I'll edit the values here. T3 group is going to be net admin 3. Login password is going to be T3. Group name 3. The yeah, privilege level I'll give 1. If I give privilege level 1, this user won't be having much permissions but still user will be able to execute all the show commands and i'll allow some custom commands here before that we will verify once whether user will be able to log in now i don't have enable privilege but i have all the show commands will be working show spanning
Okay, any other show command? Show CDP neighbor. Yeah. All the commands are working. So now we'll give some custom commands for the particular user. So I'll go to T3. And the command is going to be under service equal to exec. So there we to give the command cmd equal the command which needs to be allowed enable then under that permit space dot so that is a regex Need to close that and then another command what we will give is exit for now and then we need to remove this line so that by default it won't allow all the commands it will allow only these commands earlier i was able to execute all the commands now i'll add one more line in the middle which will allow to execute show commands We'll verify it again. Yeah, looks good. We'll try to save and restart. Yeah, it started. That means configuration is fine. Now I log in with T3. CEM will try some different command or we will try disable command authorization failed show run Now we will change the privilege and try it once. We will give 15. We will restart the service. Now let's try connecting again. T3. So running that is working. We we'll try configure. The configure is not working. That means the privilege was denying the command because in privilege one you will not be able to enter to that mode. But though I have privilege 15 defined in tacax plus config. 
here still it follows the commands which I defined here enable permit and show commands but in 15 by default it is landing to the privilege mode so even if you don't give enable doesn't matter so now we will see one of the sub command here so the, com the command is So interface will allow interface enter deny dot star okay before we give save and restart it will check here all the other shows working so CDP neighbor it is working even in my login you can see then show IP interface brief show interface show IP route so all my show commands are working now now once I give this rule it should allow only show interface command we'll try giving and restarting we'll give it a try the configuration is good so restarted I'll login again Okay. So run. it is not allowing me so the previous command was so IP route it is not allowing so run only show interface yeah it is allowing only show interface and in addition to that and allow exit as well okay. yeah i hope this video was helpful for understanding the basic authorization configuration in tagx plus and how to test it in cisco ios devices if you find some better way or some interesting configurations please do add it in the comment box thank you we'll see you in the next video in the next video i'll be configuring accounting